Hi, my name is Joshua Jones. Uh, today we're going to go through how to change the color of a car uh, using channels in Photoshop CS6. Uh, it was about 2010 I saw uh, a Photoshop seminar by Guy Gowan. He uh, came over to Australia, he's from the UK. Um, and I witnessed him change the color of a car using channels. Um, at first I was sort of like, yeah, fair enough, that's pretty cool. But um, then he went ahead and demonstrated how to change the color of a car to white and black. And that uh, absolutely blew my mind. Um, thought it was pretty cool. Forgot about it. Fast forward three years till now. I uh, saw a, an ad for, I think it was a Mazda CX-5, where they changed the color of the car as it drives into the driveway. And it just sort of reminded me of, of, of that, that seminar. Um, as it happens, I didn't write down exactly how to do it, so I actually completely forgot uh, how to do it. So I uh, did some research, uh, jumped into Google, and turns out there's nothing that I can find that sort of defines the, the method as, as to how this works. So I spent some time, uh, sat down, and, and figured it out, and that's what we're here to show today. So what we'll do, I'll just quickly show you the result. So here's red, uh, green, the convincing white, really nice, you've still got all the detail. Same with the black, you've still got all the detail in the areas, uh, and blue. So if you're not convinced, we'll go ahead and we'll show you how to do it, and at the end we'll uh, run through the difference between this technique and the hue saturation technique, and you'll definitely uh, start to believe that this is definitely a much better way to do things. Um, you're not just limited to these colors. Um, I'll show you a bit later on that if you sort of mix the opacity between the different colors, you can actually achieve uh, different results. So like if you wanted an orange, you could mix the the yellow and the red, or like a, uh, you can get like a brown by mixing the orange, sorry, the yellow and the black, but we'll, we'll get into that in a minute. So we'll go into this other document. Um, this image here is from a user on DeviantArt, or will you put the link in the description? Um, I've just created a quick, quick mask earlier, uh, not extremely detailed, it's just for the purposes of the video. So we'll start with red, uh, name that red. Now to do this, go into image adjustments and channel mixer. I'll bring that across. To get yellow to red you need output channel is green and we need to change the blue to 100 and everything else to zero. And hit OK. There's your red. Looks pretty cool. So copy that. Bring that on top. To copy the mask over, hold Alt and drag onto the new, uh, new layer. To change yellow to green, we want to go back into the channel mixer. Yellow to green, we need the red output channel and we need the blue at 100 and everything else at zero. 100. There we go. There's green. Name that. Copy the yellow again. Just drag it on top. Copy the mask. We're going to do white. So we'll name that white. Back into the channel mixer. There we go. Now we need all output channels to have the red at 100 and everything else at zero. So red is already there. We need 100, zero, blue, we need red at 100, we change blue to zero. And there we have a pretty white car with all your shadows and details still there. Next up, we have black. Bring that to the top. Okay, copy the mask. Now to achieve black, back into the channel mixer, we need all the output channels to have blue at 100 and everything else zero. Let's go ahead and do that. And then green. Now that should be black now because the blue should already be about 100. Yeah, so we'll hit OK. 
Let that update. Okay, so there's your black. Looks really nice. Finally, we have blue. Now, the reason blue is last is uh, it's a little bit more complicated. Blue, back into the channel mixer. <clears throat> now in output channel red, we need blue at 100. Output channel green, we need blue at 100. And output channel blue, we need the green at 100. Okay, there's your blue. Now you might still not be convinced, but let's go ahead and create <clears throat> a hue saturation adjustment layer above the yellow. And we'll copy the mask across. Hit yes. Hide all these layers. And now we can show you the difference. So if I try and get a red color, no, that's not red. Yeah. A little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, so that, that's red. Now, <clears throat> any other time I would have thought, yes, just go into the hue saturation, create a mask, make the car red. Yes, that does look pretty good, but you'll see the difference here. If I go into 100%, and you can see here, you've got a nice red color here and here in the shadows. But in the highlights towards the mid-tones, you're getting a different sort of hue towards orange. So if I turn on the channel mixer, where we adjusted it here, you can see that there's a consistent red across the car. If I turn that off again, you'll see the difference in hue when you're using the hue saturation layers. So just on and off again, and you can really tell the difference. So if I try and make a blue in the hue saturation, show you again. So I turn on the blue here. You're getting a consist consistent blue across the ranges. If I turn that off, you'll see that there's more of a purple hue here and there's a, a blue hue there. So that's the reason why using the channel mixer is, is a lot more uh, ideal, I suppose. It, it, it gives you more convincing results. So let's try and do a black or a white uh, car using the hue saturation adjustment layer. So there's our results with the channel mixer. I'll turn that off, turn the hue saturation back on, kill the saturation, and lighten it up. See how as we get towards the higher end of the scale in lightness, you start to lose the detail here. Now there might be ways in Photoshop you can use like blending modes and all that sort of thing to get these details back, but at the end of the day, using the hue saturation method to get a white car versus the channel mixer car uh, method is just silly. Uh, if you're using the channel mixer, the results are very convincing very quickly. So same goes for when you try to darken the car. See how you've got, it just blackens everything. See around here and in the shadows, if I turn the black on, you've got beautiful highlights and it's just, it's a very convincing look. So earlier on I sort of mentioned you can get different colors by changing the opacity. So if we mix yellow and red together, make the opacity 50, you've got a nice orange. Um, so that, that, that bears true for all the other sort of methods as well. Let's try and mix yellow and blue. Hang on, that needs to be back at 100. What do we got here? A nice purple. So take your time to go ahead and, and play with these adjustment layers, change the opacity, get the colors you want. But I think that this would definitely be the most convincing method um, and the most realistic method to change the color of a car. So any questions, please leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and I suppose that's it for now. Thanks for watching.